Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to set up shipping on Equid. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So if you're a new user of Equid, well this one this is going to be really helpful to you. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go ahead and go to Equid.com and just basically log in into our account. Now once in your dashboard, what we need to do is access the shipping and pickup options. So at the left side of your screen, you should see this panel here. Look for shipping and pickup, go ahead and click on it. Now in this UI, what we need to do next is we need to go to the shipping option because we have three options here, shipping, local delivery, and self pickup. Now in this case, there are multiple ways for you to set this up. So in this case, if you want local delivery, like for example, just near your area, like for example, deliver orders yourself in the city. So these are deliveries that you are doing yourself. Now we also have the self pickup, meaning that the uh, customers or the users or your visitors will be able to pick up the product itself from a specific location. So if you have an in-store pickup or a curbside pickup or drive-thru pickup, you could be, you'll be able to set this up. Now in this case, we have the shipping itself. So shipping means that you'll be able to use a service or a service that would actually deliver the products itself to the address that is set up by a specific customer. Now to get us started, first go ahead and click on the add shipping button here. And from here, you'll be redirected to the section wherein you'll be able to see all of the available uh, couriers for your shop. So it depends on your current country right now. So since I'm in the Philippines, it's going to uh, give me an option to use a PHL post. But if you're in, like for example, in America, it might suggest you to use uh, another service or in Australia, it might request you or give you an option to use that service. But if you want to see all the couriers that is available here, let's go ahead and click on view all couriers here. You'll be able to see all of the available couriers on this website or in Equid. So we have USPS, UPS, FedEx, FedEx, Australia Post, and a lot more. Now, if you want to use their service, go ahead and select them. Now, if you don't have that option or to choose the carrier here, like for example, the carrier is not included here, well, you could actually add this in this section here that says other carriers. Now, in this case, if you want to set this up, you could go ahead and just type in, like for example, the name of the carrier that you'll be using is this, but is not available here. Go ahead and enter the name and just click on set up. Now, from here, you have multiple options. So we have the free shipping option, the conditional free shipping, as well as the flat rate and these custom rates. So in this case, choose the type of shipping method that you want to use. Like for example, if you're going to use the conditional free shipping here, let's just click on setup conditions. From here, you'll be able to fill out a few details about your uh, shipping method. In this case, this is the name itself. We have the shipping rates. So this, uh, the price itself or the currency that we'll be using here depends on what you set up initially for your shop. So since I set this up to Philippine Beso, it's going to say PHP. Now from here, we have the price range of it means like from zero to 99 P Philippine Peso. The rate per order is going to be five pesos. Now, if you want to add another row, go ahead, go ahead and click on add row here. And from here, you will be able to add that. If you want to delete this, just click on the trash can icon here. Now, from here, we also have the table based on. So, subtotal after all discounts. So, if you click on this one, you can change this to wait if you want that. But in this case, let's go ahead and select the subtotal after all discounts. Now, from here, we have the rate based on. So, currently, it's range only. But if you want to include range, uh, subtotal weight you could go ahead and do that as you can see the required fields or the fields that we'll be needing to fill up will be available here now in this case let's just click on range only and from here we have other options or details that we could fill up as well we have the add description for customers limit availability by order subtotal as well as show estimated delivery date at checkout so we also have the option to set shipping region if you need that so currently i've set up set this up or automatic setup as no limitation now in this case if you going if you're going to choose another uh p a shipping method here let's just leave this page here real quickly and in this case we want to select another one like for example phl pose let's go ahead and click on setup 
and from here sometimes the shipping method itself it's going to give you other methods so let's go ahead and select another one to give you an example as you can see this is set up usps so sometimes they might request other details on the uh, shipping method as well as you can see it's going to give us the company and shipping or agent address and a lot more so go ahead and fill out all the forms here and you should be good so depending on your shipping method you'll need to basically fill out all the details now in this case let's just go back here so i'll be able to show you what it's going to basically look like so let's go ahead and use the conditional free shipping of free shipping here and from here let's go ahead and just save this one and just click on save and finish now once you've set up your shipping method here you can go ahead and go to shipping and pick up again and you should be able to see your shipping here now if you want to edit this one just go ahead and click on actions here go ahead and click on edit and you'll be able to change the details for your shipping that you just added as you can see we'll be able to change a few things again and that's about it so this one is pretty easy just follow the information here and you should be good so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to nft inspo Thank you for watching.